I'm Brandy Yates for Home TV, and I'm here with Darcy Wigan, the Parks and Recreation Specialist from Meridian Township, to talk about the upcoming Celebrate Meridian Festival. Darcy, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. First off, what are some activities happening at this year's event? We have a full day uh, jam-packed with music, fun, fireworks, and tons and tons of food. Okay, good to yeah. know. That's what everyone like, likes to yeah. know this summer. Yeah. Um, let's go through the list. So we've done this for how many years, and how is this year maybe different from last year? Um, well, we started the, with our 175th. We moved to our new location, and this will be our third year over here. Um, and it just keeps getting, I think, bigger and better each year and adding some different elements to it just to, just to keep things exciting for everybody. Um, so we're going to start at 11 a.m., um, We'll, we'll have food trucks out on Central Park Drive. The farmer's market will be going already, and that will start at 8 in the mall parking lot. Um, we have children's activity area out on the grass field. We have the, the beer garden and beer booth. Beer and wine booth will be open. Um, we have music, and then we'll have the arts and crafts and um, business booth area here in the historical village. Okay, so um, what, what kind of food trucks, what kind of food can people expect? We, we have a wide variety of everything from, you know, stone cooked pizza to howdy doody's ice cream um, we have carnival food we have burgers barbecue anything that you're craving we got it okay great and um let's talk a little bit about the children's activities i feel like um, i saw some new stuff from previous years so can you tell me about that yeah coach devlin is going to be out here um, between 1 and 3 p.m uh, with with all kinds of activities, a three-legged race for kids, three-legged race for parents, um, just straight running races for toddlers, which is always you know controlled chaos. We got a water balloon toss, we have pie eating contest, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a ton of fun for everybody. Okay, and um, are you doing inflatables this year? And I think I saw something about a train. Yes, so we have a, the whole children's area will have um, a five dollar wristband, and it's unlimited all day. All you can ride, all you can jump, all you can play. There's carnival rides. There's bouncers galore. There is a train coming from Cattle, which will be great. It's a, that's always a huge hit. Um, but if, once you have that wristband on, you can you can go wild for the day. And um, let's talk about the music, the main stage. Mm -hmm. From 3 to 6 p.m. we have Eventide, and, and they are uh, just a classic rock band. And then um, we will switch over at 7 and really get the party started with Solstice. They're uh, Michigan's premier dance band, and so they're a lot of fun, and I think they'll keep everyone going until the fireworks go off at 10 p.m. And let's talk about those fireworks. What's the best place to view those fireworks? Uh, really, anywhere out on the um, soccer fields is a great spot. Out on Central Park Drive will be fun. Um, the mall parking lot's going to be available to people, and even in the grass a little bit near the mall parking lot between the parking lot and Studio C will be open to folks this year, so that'll be a prime location. <laughs> okay, and what time are the fireworks going on and um, what kind of things should people be aware of like the weather? Hopefully we have some nice weather. It's supposed to be beautiful. That's that's the hope and not half as hot as it was last year. They're telling me 75 and sunny. So um, yeah, just bring your lawn chairs, bring some blankets, come out anytime throughout the day and, and we'll go all the way until the fireworks, like I said, go off at 10 p.m. Okay. And um, the beer and wine tent, what kind, of, what kind of things can people expect? We have a variety of beer this year. Um, we've also added in the, um, uh, uh, sorry, a spiked seltzer into the mix. Uh, we have wine varieties as well. So light beer, we have the IPAs, and, and we have a couple local beers from the area that, that'll be good to, uh, I think everyone will be pleased. Everyone will be happy with something. <laughs> And one thing we didn't mention yet, the car car show cruise. Right. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so the car show cruise will go off at noon right on Central Park Drive. Last year we had moved it to the mall parking lot. We're back on Central Park Drive. So all the cars will need to, will need to enter off of Marsh Road um, right behind Chili's, between okay. Chili's and Olive Garden and um, come through the mall parking lot and then they'll they'll be all out on Central Park Drive between Marsh and the entrance to Town Hall and that's from noon to five. There are gonna be prizes for those. Um, you know, everyone will get to vote on who their favorite car is and uh, there'll, there'll be prizes for the winners. So um, you mentioned the historical villages where the arts and crafts and the business booths. Tell us a little about the, those um, vendors. So we have we didn't have the arts and crafts vendors last year. Um, we, you know, there was a great demand for them to come back. And so we have, gosh, I want to say 20 to 30 of those vendors coming this year, returning some new, um, some from previous years. So and, and there's a wide variety of people uh, and different products that they provide and then different businesses within the community um, that just want to come out and highlight what they do and, and, you know, educate the community on what what it is that they can provide. Why do you think an event like this is so important for the community? 
Well, it's just so fun for all of us to get together. Um, you know, we have people that come to the park for the historical village. We have people that come for sporties for shorties or that folks that'll just come to pay bills at town hall. But it's really a, a special day where everyone gets to just celebrate everything that we have going on throughout our entire community. And we try and get as much of it packed in. Um, and the, really the few short hours we have here just to celebrate um, our community and all the wonderful businesses and, and people in it. And um, I don't know if we've said this, but it's Saturday, June 29th. Can you tell me the kind of the breakdown of the times again? June 29th, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Um, everything will get started early in the morning with the farmer's market at 8. But the, really the, the, the core of the event starts at 11 a.m. with music, kids activities, food trucks. Um, and that will go on throughout the day until 1 p.m. We have um, kids, family activities from 1 to 3. And then... Um, from then on, we'll, we'll party on until the fireworks go at 10 p.m. And then this is a free event. Obviously, if you make purchases, you need to have some money for that, but it's a free family-friendly event. Tell me a little bit more about just kind of the planning of something like this. Yeah, absolutely. We, we're very fortunate that we have so many supporters in town and within our community that um, are, help sponsor the event, help us pay for things like fireworks and kids activities and, and the car show and um, so a lot a large part of this event is uh, funded by by sponsors and and community supporters um, so it is free to anyone that just wants to come out and enjoy and um, walk the area and see the sites and but if you do want to purchase food or get involved in the activities, we try to keep it as affordable as possible. Uh, if you want to avoid driving altogether, we do have a, a bike valet, so feel free to ride your bike in and we'll, we'll take care of it for you while you're enjoying the event and then you can safely get home. Okay, and one of the things that I think was a big hit in previous years, the fire hose, is that coming back with yes, the fire department? Absolutely, they'll be out here keeping everyone cool um, and everyone, all the kids will get a chance to, to shoot the fire hose. Okay, good. And um, the, the activities kind of kick off a little early this year with the Meridian Mile. Tell us about that race. Right, so that's on Thursday, June 27th. Um, they will close Central Park Drive and it's just one mile down and back. So, and there is a different heat for everybody, even the little guys. Um, you know, there was someone as young as two or three last year out there doing the half mile, the little kids trot. So that they'll start at 7 p.m. on June 27th. You can park in the mall parking lot or here at Central Park. Um, and it will just, the, the races will go off right on Central Park Drive. One mile down and back, there's joggers with their strollers. Um, there's, there's a little bit more competitive race for men and women. Um, there's also a dog race. So if your dog's up for the mile to, to jump in with you, you can do that as well. Um, and it was, it was a big hit last year. Even though it was so hot, it was, it was a huge hit. Talking about pets, can people bring their pets to the event or are there any kind of um, activities or anything to do with pets? As long as everything, everyone's on a leash, um, we're all good. We, we do have puppy adoptions going on, so as long keep your keep your dogs away from those puppies. Um, but between Soldens and um, the New Hope Pet Adoption Group, they, they're going to be set up and they, they'll stay there as long as all the puppies are there and until they all get adopted. So that's our hope is to get some puppies some new homes. Okay. Anything else you want to say about the event or kind of um, a call to the community to join you? Yeah, you're going to miss out if you're not here. This is the place to be. We have fun. We got a little bit of something for everybody. Um, no one's going to get bored. So come on out. Have fun. Bring the little guys, bring the teenagers, bring grandma and grandpa, and um, just enjoy a, a fun event in our community. Well, thank you so much, Darcy. Thank you. And thank you for watching.